Hello everyone. Welcome back to your favorite Captain Quantifiers. So after one day break, we are back again in our daily DILR series. Yesterday we covered a good arithmetic workshop. Okay. So uh, today's set is about conditional data interpretation. A very good set, wrapper of perfect cat level. Before we move to the set, this is the description of the special DILR booster tools that we have started. And in this, we will be covering 400 good DILR sets of cat level. And if you wish to be the part of it, you can join with the link given in the description. Now, let's move to the set. What's the set? The set says there are there were seven students A through G who took an exam and had four subjects with QA, VA, LR, and DI. Okay. Their scores were integrally scored scaled to 10. So everything is converted out of 10. The highest by anybody in any of the papers is 10 and the lowest is 5. So we have a limit of 5 to 10. Average indicates the average. Okay. None of the students except A got the same marks in more than one subject. So A is the only student who has same marks in more than one subject. None of them, none of the others. Okay. Not more than one student got 10 marks in any of the subjects. So is he bache ke ek se aajrek, me das number nahi hai. Except, okay. Except for B. All the students got five marks in one of the subjects. Okay, so except for B, B ko chhod ke, all of the students got five marks in one of their subjects. So we don't know which one, but any one of the subjects. Okay. A, B, C, and D uh, were the only to get ten marks, and they got ten marks in different subjects. So A, B, C, D were the only guys who got ten marks, and they each got ten in different subjects. So ten was here. 10 was here, then 110 must be in VA and 110 must be in QA. So in VA, there is only one place. So this C must be 10 and this must be 10. So this was very easy. Okay. Okay. And uh, then their averages are given and then we are asked some questions. So let's, let's see what is there and let's see what we can do. So what do we know? We know that A, uh, B, C, D, they received 10. And on the basis of this, we derived that this was 10 and this was 10. So we have derived this already. And why is this 10? Because they have to be in different subjects. Okay. So that's why. So 10, 10, 110 is here because in VA there is no other space. And then 110 is here. Okay. I cannot give A the 10 because there will be two 10s. Okay. Now, what, what else is there? What else I can see? Now their averages are 6.5, 7, 7 7.25, 7.5, 7.75, 8 and 8.25 in any in any random order. So in four subjects, this total is 26, this total is 28, this total is 29, this is 30, 31, 32 and 33. These are the totals received by them. So an average of 8.25 will fetch you a score of 33. So very simple. So since 9 and 10, 19 are already there, which means that A plus B is 14. So what is the possibility of A plus B? A plus B can be, uh, see, we cannot give another 10. Okay. So I have to make one value equal. So they can either be 9 plus 5 or I can give them 7 plus 7 to make the two values equal. But again, that will be the same score. But, they, but no one has the same score. So the value is 9 plus 5. But 9 or 5 can be here. Or 5 and 9 can be here. Okay. Okay. Or 7, 7. One of the things is same. So it can either be 7, 7 also. Check it. Okay. Fine. Now, uh, this is 10. And so the total, this is very easy now. The total is 7.75 means 31. So 8, 6, 14, 10, 24. So this must be 7. 10, 9, 19 and 8, 27. So 27 is the total already. 27 is the total already. And the minimum score I can give to F is 5. Which means the minimum value L can take is 32. So if the minimum value L can take L, the average, sorry, the total can take is 32. And I have only one option left. 32. Because 33 is already occupied. So this must be 32. Which means L must be 8. So L is definitely 8 and the total is 32. Now, if the total is 32, then this is 10, 9, 19, and 827. F must be 5. Okay. 
we already know that except for b everyone has an 5 so obviously this was 5 also here ठीक है pretty easy to map out okay now what else see only one place is left it must be a 5 Eight, seven, eight, and seven, fifteen, six, twenty-one, five, twenty-six. Okay. So twenty-six. And similarly for this, no, I cannot say about J because there is a probability. Nine, eight, seventeen, six, twenty-three. This must be five. So this is twenty-eight. Okay. So n twenty-six. Uh, so twenty-six is six point five, and this is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is seven. So now I am left with only two values, and rest everything is fixed. So eight is gone. Eight point two five is gone. Seven point seven five is gone. And seven point five is left. Seven point two five is left. Seven is gone. Six. These are the only two lefts. Okay. So nine eight nine and eight seventeen and five twenty two. If I give this five, it becomes twenty seven. So five to me, I can't give. I cannot give five because then two values will be same. No. No one except A can have two values same. So the total it can reach is either twenty nine or thirty. For this I have to give it seven. For this I have to give it eight. Can I say I cannot give eight because if I will give eight to this value, then two values will be same. It is not possible. Which means I have I cannot give it eight. So I have to give it seven only. Which means this will be seven. In this case, this will be twenty nine, and this will be seven point two five, and then this. Ten five fifteen. The total becomes our ten and five fifteen. The total is obviously thirty. So H plus G is fifteen. H plus G is fifteen in any order. I don't know. Okay. So this is what I can derive from my data. Okay. Nine and seventeen. Nine and seventeen. Seven hundred forty-seven. Okay. Nine and eight seventeen. Seven hundred forty-nine. Perfect. Eight, I cannot give perfect. Perfect. So everything is perfect as of now. X plus G is fifteen. These are the two variables left. Okay. Okay. Let's move ahead. The first question is which of the following is the value of F plus L? So F is five, L is eight, so F plus L is thirteen. Second, which of the following can be the maximum value of A C J? C is fixed ten. J is fixed seven. So ten plus seven plus a. A can take a maximum value of nine. So ten plus seven, seventeen plus nine, twenty-six is the maximum possible value. Okay. Fine. Which of the following cannot be the value of G M N? So G is where is G? So G G G G G and M and N. So M is seven point five. N is six point five, so these are fourteen plus the value of G. G is variable. Uh, okay, I can clearly see that G cannot be ten in any case. Why? Because ten is already allocated to D in D I. So since it cannot be ten in any case, I am not concerned with these values. It cannot be twenty-four. It can be anything. I don't even need to check it. But it can definitely not be twenty-four. Okay. Then what is the average score per subject? Average score per subject per student would be the average of all the averages. So, eight point two five plus seven point seven five plus eight plus seven point five plus six point five seven point two five plus seven. This all this divided by one two three four five six seven is approximately equal to seven point four six. So this is my required answer. So this completes my set. Not a very difficult one, but yes, a good logical one, and can take uh, ample amount of time if you don't see the minute details. So with this, we will uh, wrap up our session for today. And if you liked it, please do subscribe to our channel. And also, I request you to, you know, further pass it on to your friends also. Thank you so much. Have a great day.